Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we're going to revise how to multiply and divide algebraic fractions. We are also going to introduce fractions where you will need to factorize before simplifying. Let's join Shelley as she explains this further. Learning about the multiplication of fractions, I am now going to teach you a principle called the changing of the sign. Think about this. Is A minus B the same as B minus A? Well, think about this. Is 7 minus 2 the same as 2 minus 7? 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Well, 2 minus 7 is equal to minus 5. The numbers are the same, but their signs are different. So let's go back to the original question. In the first bracket, the A is positive and the B is negative. In the second bracket, A is negative while B is positive. So the signs in the two brackets are opposite. That means the one is the negative of the other. Let me show you what I mean. We will look at this another way. To explain it, I'm going to take the one bracket, A minus B, and I'm going to multiply it by minus 1. Now this is written as minus 1 multiplied by A plus minus 1 multiplied by minus B. And if we simplify that, we get minus A plus B. And just rewriting that, that's the same as saying B minus A. So from what we've just done, do you see that the only difference between the two brackets in our original question is that the 1 is multiplied by a minus 1. It is the negative of the other. So for the changing of the sign, we take the expression and we multiply it by minus 1. Now when would we use this in a question? Let me show you with this example. We are asked to factorize this expression. 2p multiplied by a minus b minus q multiplied by b minus a. Now notice we have two terms because they are separated by a minus. And we need to look for a common factor. But we cannot take out our bracket as a common factor because the brackets are not the same. But they are nearly the same. Do you know why I say nearly? Because the terms in the brackets simply have different signs. This is a positive A, this is a minus A. This is a minus B, this is a positive B. So I can use the method we've just learnt, changing the sign. I can make B minus A the same as A minus B if I multiply B minus A by minus 1. But I cannot just multiply once because this changes the value of our expression. But I may multiply twice. Now why twice? Because minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 gives us positive 1. And anything multiplied by positive 1 stays the same. It does not change. Look what happens if you multiply a number twice by minus 1. Can you see that the number does not change if we multiply it twice by minus 1? Now look again at our example. Because I want to change the sign to get both brackets the same, I'm going to multiply the second term twice by minus 1. Now this is what happens. The first term stays the same. So we're going to be getting 2p multiplied by a minus b. But we need to multiply the second term twice by minus 1. So we multiply the minus q by minus 1. And then we're going to multiply the b minus a also by minus 1. So if we see what happens, minus q multiplied by minus 1, we are going to get plus q. And then b minus a multiplied by minus 1, we will be left with a minus b. So now we have 2p multiplied by a minus b plus q multiplied by a minus b. Now we have a common bracket and we can take it out. 
Remember, taking out means to divide. So we take out our A minus B, and then we divide each term by our A minus B. So we're going to say A minus B into our first term, we're left with 2P, and A minus B into our second term, we are left with Q. And that is our final answer. That was an example of factorizing using the principle of changing the sign. Now let's simplify a fraction using changing the sign. Simplify a squared minus b squared divided by b minus a all squared. I'm sure you recognize the numerator as being the difference of two squares. So let's factorize that. So we get our two brackets and we know we're going to write a minus b, a plus b. And that's all divided by b minus a all squared. Now we're just going to write those two brackets twice. b minus a multiplied by b minus a. So far so good. Now let's see what else we can do. Can we cancel? Do you see any common factors in the numerator and the denominator? Not really. But do you see that we can change the sign here? So I'm going to multiply the denominator by minus 1 twice. I'm going to multiply this bracket by minus 1. And I'm going to multiply this bracket by minus 1. So if we see what we get, we're going to write our numerator the same. a minus b multiplied by a plus b. And then b minus a multiplied by minus 1 gives us a minus b. And in a similar way, b minus a multiplied by minus 1, we get a minus b. And now we can cancel. So we've got our a minus b, which will cancel out with the other a minus b. And we are left with a plus b divided by a minus b. And this is our final answer. That wasn't difficult. Let's do one more example. Simplify x squared multiplied by x minus 3 plus 4 multiplied by 3 minus x all divided by x squared minus x minus 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 3x minus 6. Now you should recognize that the fraction on the left hand side is from a previous task. Check with me and see if you simplified it correctly. Let's start with our numerator. Now notice we haven't got factors because we've got terms. And we need to be able to take out a common factor, but we don't have a common factor. We can create a common factor by changing the sign. We need to multiply our second term twice by minus 1. So we write the first term exactly the same, x squared multiplied by x minus 3. Now, positive 4 multiplied by minus 1, we are going to be left with minus 4. And then 3 minus x multiplied by minus 1, we're going to get x minus 3. And that is all divided by our denominator. Now, we should rec recognize our denominator. It's a trinomial. Straight away, we write down our two brackets. Now we say, what two numbers multiplied together give us minus 6 and would add up to give us minus 1? Let's think about it. Minus 3 multiplied by 2 gives us minus 6. And minus 3 plus 2 gives us minus 1. So that would be our correct option. So we write x and x in the first place in each bracket because x times x gives us x squared. And then we write minus 3 plus 2 on the other bracket. Now we multiply by 3 and we divide it by 3x minus 6. Now remember everything you have learned. It is very tempting to want to cancel at this stage. But take a look. The left-hand numerator and the right-hand denominator still contain terms. But do you see the numerator here can be factorized because we have our common bracket x minus 3. So let's factorize it. We take out our common x minus 3 
And then x minus 3 divided into our first term, we are left with x squared. And x minus 3 into our second term, we are left with minus 4. And that is all divided by x minus 3 and x plus 2 multiplied by 3. Now in our denominator we have a common factor, our common 3. So we take out our 3. 3 into 3x we are left with x and 3 into our minus 6 we are left with minus 2. Are we ready to cancel? Let's look and see. I was running out of space, so I wrote our last step on a new piece of paper. No, we are not ready to cancel. I hope you noticed our difference of two squares. So we can still factorize further. So, let's write it down. x minus 3 multiplied, now our difference of two squares becomes x minus 2, x plus 2. All divided by x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2, multiplied by 3, divided by 3, multiplied by x minus 2. And now that we've factorized as far as we can go, we can finally look for the factors that can be cancelled. I can cancel this x minus 3 with this x minus 3, this x minus 2 with this x minus 2, the x plus 2's cancel, and the threes cancel. So it looks like there's nothing left, but please be careful. The factors divide into each other once. So that we have in the numerator, ones multiplied, and in the denominator, we have ones multiplied. Now, one divided by one gives us one. So our final answer is one. Multiplying fractions is relatively easy as long as we simplify and factorize as much as possible first. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about multiplying and dividing fractions on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.